Hi, I'm Monty McKinnon. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to talk about two different ways to make a guitar neck and one that I've never done before. So we're going to spin the intro and I'll get right back to that. Okay, here we are. Now, the two ways that we're going to do this is to show you this is a typical neck for an acoustic guitar. Now, this is a block of mahogany. It is three inches wide. It's over length. It's, it's quite long, actually. You don't need it this long, but it's six inches and what we'll end up doing is gluing that on there like that so that it's like so after we've cut a scarf joint here now a scarf joint is one that's at 13 degrees and it comes down and then you flip it over and you glue it together so that it comes over and down like this so right in here is a scarf joint. Actually, there's the edge of this scarf joint right there. So it's cut on an angle and you turn that over and that's what gives us our slope here for the, for the neck. Now, once you've done this, and I've already obviously routed that for the truss rod, what you end up doing is shaping the, the top here at the headstock and give it whatever shape you want. And then you're in a position where you can cut this out and cut it round. That's a very typical way of making a guitar neck. Now, it works. It works great. But I'm going to do something a little different today. What I have here is a guitar neck outline. Now, I've got some measurements on this because I know you're going to want to know. From here to here, it's four and a quarter inches. From here to here, it's four inches. It's sloping up. This is about one and a quarter inches thick, and it's 15 inches long to this point here, where it then bends at 13 degrees. It's more if you're doing a slot uh, headstock, but the traditional stock would be somewhere around 13, maybe 15, but 13 is what this is. And then this runs down here at one inch thick for about seven and a half, eight inches. So that's the measurements here. Now, what I've done is you just saw me cut uh, the, a longer board here to allow me to make this thing work on the bandsaw. And so normally this I would cut out on a hard board and this would become another template that I would hang up and I would simply use. I just haven't got around to it, that's all. Otherwise, you can make this yourself. You've got the measurements. This is very easy to do. So once you put this on here like that, that's what you end up with. Now, I would do this inboard because it doesn't hurt to have a little extra room here because we're going to make some changes there anyway. So that's the way it fits. I think you can see that pretty clear. Now, the reason for using the jointer was because I want a smooth edge here, because once I've cut this shape, and I'm gonna cut three of them, I'm gonna put them down like this, and I'm gonna glue them together on the sides. I have to yet run this all through the thickness sander to make sure I've taken, this is a rough stock, rough board, I want to take all of this off and plane it nice and smooth and straight. So I'm going to cut it first and then I'm going to run it through the thickness sander. So we won't do that today because that's pretty messy. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you how we're going to get this thing. Let's go this way. Okay, so what I've got going on here now I, again, I've left room here that you can see at the end. And this is going to take two of them. This is right up at the top. Okay. 
So I'm going to use my square here. So now I'll butt this up here. Now, by the way, something worth noting. I said this is four and a quarter and down here it's four inches to the top. You'll notice, if you can, there is a slope running up here. That's because of the guitar body is coming in and it's sloping like this and it's going to carry right on with the same slope, same degree of curvature. So that's why that is there like that. Okay. By the way, I did permanent damage to my finger. I have no feeling up in here, from about here down to the top of the nail. It's 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 like it's frozen, you know, it tingles, and that's in a word not good. So you got to be careful when you're using power tools. Monty, are you going to be careful? <laughs> I'm going to try. Otherwise I have to take the wrath of my wife. Now once we, I'm going to do three of these because this is about an inch and a quarter thick. It'll come down to about an inch when I, I'm, I'm done. And I want three inches of the main stock, the body, here, I want this to be three inches wide in here, from here to here. Now, there we have it. It's, it's all on there. It's going to be very difficult for you to see. However, what I would like to do, and I can't do it on this. Maybe I can do it here. No, I'm only going to get one out of this. Okay, I will get more than one out of this. So I'm going to do the same thing all over again, and I will end up taking this then to the bandsaw. I will take this like so. And I hope you saw that short video I did where uh, you saw, and, and you know which son it was. It was good old Peter coming in on a, a sea -Doo that he brought up close to the dock and completely did a tsunami on me and covered me with water. I'll get even, Pete. Don't worry. It'll happen. All right, that's it. See you in the next video. Bye for now.